Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you work with an accountant who uses the QuickBooks for Accountants edition, you can use the file transfer ability in QuickBooks Desktop Pro to send an accountant's copy to your accountant. To use this feature, you must be using QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2013 or better, have an internet connection and an email address, and you must know your accountant's email address. This feature allows you to save the accountant's copy to an Intuit web server, which notifies your accountant via email to download the copy. To perform this task, select File, Send Company File, Accountant's Copy, Send to Accountant from the menu bar. In the Send Accountant's Copy window that appears, click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, use the Dividing Date drop-down to select a dividing date for your accountant's copy file. The dividing date is the date before which your accountant can make changes, but you cannot. After selecting a dividing date, click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, enter your accountant's email address into the accountant's email address field. Then re-enter their email address into the re-enter accountant's email address field. Then enter your name and email address into the your name and your email address fields. Then click the next button to continue. In the next screen, enter a password for the accountant's copy stored on the web server. Your accountant will need this password to access your accountant's copy. You can enter the same password that you use for the admin account within your company file if desired. You can also enter your own strong password into the password and re-enter password fields. A strong password is at least eight characters long with at least one digit, one special character, and one capital letter. You must let your accountant know what this password is so that they can download your company file. Then click the send button to create and upload your accountant's copy and be sure to let your accountant know what the password is. Your accountant will receive an email with a link they can click to download and open your accountant's copy. They will need to enter the password you created to do this. Also, your original company file will display text that says Accountant's Changes Pending within its title bar. After creating the accountant's copy, you can still perform normal data entry in the original company file, but you cannot make some kinds of changes to the company file, such as deleting, renaming, or structurally rearranging the existing accounts in the chart of accounts. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.